Hey Cam. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to go on holiday? Every freaking day of my <laughs> life. <laughs> well, today we're going on a British holiday and we're gonna be trying <laughs> all of your delicious meals. You guys got good food. I hear. <laughs> <laughs> You look awfully the part, man. Do I look British? You look like you could be a fisherman's friend. Like the, the person right. on the can. Right, I just need a little yellow. More yellow. Oh, trench coat. Mm -hmm. Well, I've never been to the United Kingdom. Nope. But today we're trying meals from Britain and I could not be more excited because all we've ever tried are sweets, treats, and other little things. That's right, I want some sustenance. Round one. All right, first on the list, classic fish and chips. All Just right. diving right in. <laughs> I mean, we oh have to, my right? God. Look at that fatty. <laughs> Bro, you get some tartare? All right, tartare. I get some tartare. Okay, so yeah, first cool. plate is fish and chips, the staple of Britain. Wow. That Look at that beast. Now, do you like fish? I do. You do? I do. I love I love fish like sushi. I not, love sushi. Not necessarily like this though. I love fish and chips. Specifically? Like would you Like yeah, but I well it's weird. So I say I love it, but I haven't had it in a long time. You fries? go on chip first? Yeah. Uh, is that yes, chip. These are chips. Do you dip the chips? I mean I guess. Alright. Got a good crunch, got a good mush. Honestly, these are very deep fried. That's, they gotta be the deepest. Like these are way deep fried in so comparison to what I normally get. It's almost all deep fried. These are so deeply fried, someone called them profound chips. Get it? Because they're deep. Because they're fried. What? Oh. Not, okay. <laughs> get some of that fish. Mm. Get a chunk of that, there you go. Wow. A little chunk of that fish. Get it in there, oh yeah. And what kind of fish is this? Is this albacore? I think it's Halibut? I don't know, whatever we say, they're gonna be mad at us for it, so. Oh, it's a bit <laughs> sloppy! Oh, cod? Oh, cod. Could that be, sounds... could be. It's fish. It's, uh, they're all the same. Yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah, That's dude. good. Is this like, oh. See what I'm saying? Chase it with a chip. Oh. Is this like a normal, like do they eat this on the daily? Like is this- Oh like, yeah. Is this their like burgers and fries? Mm. Like cause here in the States, yeah. it's like a staple. You have a burger and fry for lunch. Like a lot of people do that. I think so. Is this what that is? I mean that's, it's on all the shows. When I think of fish and chips, yeah. I only think of one place and that is England. Apparently. That's, that's really good. Their I national meal that. though is like chicken tiki masala. An Indian dish? Yeah! Round two. two. Oh! You've got some curry sauce. Go ahead and test it out with smell those it. chips. Okay. Smell it. Oh, yeah, dude. I love... Oh, man. Indian food is my jam, dude. So I good. love Indian food. It almost like a... tastes more like a, like a gravy more than anything. That's what's yeah, yeah. Indian food? I taste the curry. So oh. if you... If it's a gravy, it's fantastic. It's good. So that's not a gravy. This is a gravy. Oh, they have a gravy what gravy. What is this? That's weird. Someone it's down curry in the comments sauce. explain this to me. <laughs> this is gravy. In kindergarten sense. Because I got non-natives here trying to explain to me the things. Hey, I'm You're anymore. not native. Don't I take offense sorry. to that. I'm like, hey. <laughs> Put the chip. Oh my lord, this Put is- Put the chip fry. Y'all are so confusing. In the gravy. You got some gravy Aww, on the Aw, man. Nice foul. shot. Dang it. It wasn't me. You put the fish in the gravy? I put the fish in the gravy. I think that's yours. Is it good? I mean, till you tell me. I am so lost. I wish we had someone that knew what was going on. You think there's like ceremony to how they eat all this stuff? No, but there's a standard practice. You shove it in your face. You do what you like. You like it with this, well, you do it with terrible. that. You like it with that, you do it with that. You like it there? You can buy it all three. This is this is the British version of mashed potatoes and gravy. We spent a whole war to, you know, make sure they didn't tell us how to do things. <laughs> Round three. Oh, now this is one that I remember. Armbrew. Armbrew. Brood, B-R-U-D. Is that how you spell that? What? Brood, it's Scottish. Brud, iron brud. Brood in Scotland. Oh, crack it open. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh yeah. What it's, even is that? I don't know, but it's good. Dude, look at that. Let's get this guy. Oh, look at that little A chip. A straggler. One part of that chip? No, I'm good. Okay. 
Looks like a tail. <laughs> Probably is. Oh, good point. <laughs> is there, there's nothing on it. So it's just the bun and <clears throat> bun and fish? Use silver fang to destroy it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good old silver fang did the job. Well done. Toothless, more like it. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that Dude. beautiful little fish. That looks fake, right? Doesn't smell fake. But it's like the most beautiful fish I've ever seen. That's a good looking fish. Look at that. But it's gorgeous. It doesn't even look real. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The only thing that I have to compare this to is a filet of fish from McDonald's. Uh -huh. Gross. This is fantastic. You know that's not even fish. Woo. Oh, dude. It's so simple yet so delicious. Mm -hmm. Man, that why don't- That sauce of the tartare. Why don't we enjoy fish more often? That is good. That is really good. Got any more fun facts for us, Cam? I sure do. Yeah. Did you know? Stamps originated in the United Kingdom. That makes sense. Yep. Sending letters was expensive before postage stamps were introduced in May of 1840. And there it is. Chicken tiki masala is England's national dish. That does not make any sense. Okay, that's an interesting <laughs> factoid. Round four. Ooh! Dang. Those are shrimpy. So these are shrimp and fish bites with a side of onion rings bites. and some cocktail sauce. Okay. Cocktail sauce? What is cocktail sauce made of? More fish. Who'd have thought? Hmm. Seems like it's a staple. You know what does it taste like? The last two dishes we just ate. <laughs> it's still good. <laughs> you have a little bit more variety there, guys. Okay. Okay, not bad, Fish. not bad. Okay, shrimp. Shrimp, that's a fatty. Wow, they even deep fry the shrimp? I mean, I'm not mad about I'm it. I'm not mad about it either, but it's a lot of deep fry. Did you put fry. in the cocktail sauce? What is cocktail sauce? There's little oh, bits of stuff in there. That looks pretty good. Dude, I freaking love shrimp, dude. Shrimp is so good. It's so good. Dude, did you go the whole thing? Bro, I... That's a good shrimp. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. So very curious. Woo! Yeah, that's good. That's my combo right there. Did is I... there horseradish in there? I don't know. You are right. Uh, the main ingredients in cocktail sauce is either ketchup or chili sauce mixed I, with I, prepared horseradish. Wow. I could feel that I felt the ketchup. But you said horseradish. horseradish. I know, but <laughs> that's because that's the stronger of the two. Onion rings. Onion ring. Man, a lot because of deep I fried. like their batter. I mean, not bad. I'm not a fan of onions, but it's not tasty. It's not that, it, it is tasty. <laughs> Not too shabby is what I was trying to say. What would a British person say? Jolly good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think I just love cocktail sauce. Do you know what they call Stranger Things in uh, England? A bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting a joke. I was expecting a real answer. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> did, did you know that Disturbed was singing about water bottles? It's just that they're British. Water wow. bottle. Yeah! <laughs> Round five. five. What are you gonna say? Oh, look at this. Ooh. Little clam chowder. Yep, some bacon clam chowder. Oh, bacon. Oh. See, I'm a soup with crackers kind of guy. Mmm. Mmm. See, I don't like oh. soups, but I like chowder. It's not like, bad. I like chowder a lot. But it's not New England clam chowder. It's Old England. Mm-hmm. Who's got the better chowder? I feel like there should be a battle. <laughs> I feel like there was. <laughs> Man, this is good. Not bad. This might be my favorite dish so far. Mm. Got a real chewy clam. This is good. I what? like it. I haven't had a clam chowder in a long time. Mm -hmm. Round six. Here's a fun one for you. Okay. The import of haggis to the US has been banned since the 70s. That I've known. You knew that? Yeah, because I've wanted to get haggis here on the show, but we can't. Because it's banned. How would we get it? We'd have to go there. Yeah. So do you know why it's banned? Not a clue. So haggis is sheep's stomach uh -huh. filled with sheep's liver, heart, and lungs, as well as oatmeal, suet, stock, onions, and various spices. This dish has been forbidden in the United States since 1971 because the US Department of Agriculture believes that lungs should not be saved for use as human food. The lungs of a sheep can contain bacteria, so the ban is in place with food safety in mind. Really? Lungs, it's cause of the lungs. 
Oh my goodness. Look at those. What are these? Freaking fish what tenders? Is this? These are fish fingers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. These, this, is, this is their chicken uh, chicken tenders. That's fried chicken? Fried chicken tenders. Is it actually chicken? With a side of mushy peas and beans. They definitely eat mushy peas. That looks like runny peas. I can drink it. Look at that chicken. My chicken looks like the bottom half of a mermaid. <laughs> They're real! <laughs> <laughs> I got no dips! Did you dip in the beans? Do you want Do your they even gravy ranch? or curry back? Yeah, is that what they dip Both. in? Both. They don't. I don't think they have ranch. Do I have need guys. You guys use ranch? Is ranch a thing over there? If not, you're missing out. Do they have I don't barbecue? Think they, do. they do not have barbecue sauce <laughs> over there, I believe. Because remember, Ted Lasso's son sends him a, a jar of barbecue sauce. What? Right. How well, does it's... it feel to know that our education on your country comes from Ted Lasso? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have some barbecue sauce, guys. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes like fish. <laughs> Dude, that's some tender chicken. I like, I really like their batter. Their batter is great for fish. You don't like it on the chicken? No. I like it on the chicken. You, I'm know, gonna go you know what exactly what this tastes like? A McDonald's chicken nugget. They're great. I hate McDonald's chicken nuggets. It's the same type of idea. These are actually crispier. What is this? Gravy's gravy? not bad. Okay, this you is like- curry? So on this British Essentials, website that I'm looking oh. at. It does say, in recent years, barbecue sauce has started to compete with tomato sauce for the top spot. Yeah, tomato sauce? Probably ketchup is what tomato sauce is. But why there. call it tomato sauce if it's ketchup? <laughs> but where did the date name ketchup come from? Freaking us telling them to get their act together. Ketchup. Ketchup, give some good ketchup with our delicious dips. <laughs> Wait till you guys find out what fry sauce is. You're gonna lose your You're gonna trousers. blow your, <laughs> yeah bro. <laughs> You're gonna blow your beret. <laughs> well, they, no, they would, bowler hat. <laughs> <laughs> I like the curry with it. Yeah, but it's just, you're missing the mark on two things at once. It's okay, it's. I like the chicken. I think it's a good chicken. It's a, it's okay. It's okay. And that's okay. Let's try some of these beans. Yeah, that is a gelatinous. It's gelatinous beans. Okay. That's Promising. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Not gonna lie, this is the mark on the beans. Bean. They're like too sweet. Are they sweet? What is that taste? I don't know what that I is. I don't know what that, that is. That catch, is that tomato sauce? Huh, maybe? This is like their SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Mushy peas, this looks like baby food. Yeah, okay. okay. Bad them shit. No! Oh! I thought it was sweet. Oh man. That's not good. They just took peas and blended them up into a sauce? Yep. But here's the problem, is when you do that, you release the worst part of the pea to be the main part of the pea. Yeah, that's just regurgitated peas. Here, let me chew them up it's in my mouth. And baby food <laughs> peas. That's why they, they just have a line of birds They just feed them peas. <laughs> Make them ch up chuck. Uh, regurgitate, I'm not trying to hate, okay? We're making it hard not to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad though, I love these chicken. This chicken's pretty good. Is that just the hungry cam talking? No. <laughs> <laughs> Round seven. This <laughs> looks like fried turd. From here on out, things are gonna start getting a little bit more unique than what we see in the United States. Well, what do we do? Daddy, just would you like some them? sausages? There's nothing to dip. Daddy, would you like some sausage? That, oh, it's a sausage. Okay. Yeah. That's what she just said. I was not listening. <laughs> These sausages are moldy. <laughs> Shut up and drink your gin. <laughs> Oh, it's like a breakfast sausage. Now at this British restaurant, these are sold as a meal, like lunch or dinner with a side of chips, french fries, or onion rings, or you know, whatever you choose. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of good. Kind of good. I like the flavor of the sausage, but it has a strange kind of chewy texture Yeah. to the outside of the sausage. It's growing on me actually. Man, deep fried again. Is everything deep fried? Bro, and they say the weird ones. <laughs> Round eight. eight. Oh, look at that fancy guy. Looks like some different kind of breading. What's this thing called? So this is called a sausage roll. It is pork sausage meat wrapped in puff pastry. It's like a British Hot Pocket. Oh my gosh, it is. The first part. 
zero meat. <laughs> yeah, that is. All right, look at him in there. He's like, boo boo. Very dry, very the flaky. The pastry is very dry. Oh, I gotta. Re-moisturize uh, your mouth Bro, hole. that is a terrible puff pastry, if I'm being honest. Mm. Man, it is falling apart. I have no moisture in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. Hold. <laughs> Can you breathe? I'm trying. Oh, man. I see what they're trying to do there. That is dry. You need like some gravy or something on that. That thing just sucked out every bit of moisture in my mouth. Wow. Flavor wise, not too bad. The sausage is good, I think. It's just that flaky crumbliness of that crust just literally sucks out everything out of your mouth. Yeah, I get that. And you're struggling to taste or even chew or even breathe. So, I mean, let us know, you know, all you friendly Brits out there, let us know if this is how it always is or if there's just something unique going on with our particular dish. Yeah. Round nine. <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah, what is this? Is this a, okay, a puff pastry, again. That, that's pie crust. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a beef and onion pie. Beef and onion pie. Is that not a shepherd's pie? No. No. This is ground beef, onions, gr and gravy in a pie crust. What exactly is a gravy. shepherd's pie? You'll see. Okay. Is it gonna be real hot? Probably <laughs> like, not. <laughs> Mine was way bigger than yours. <laughs> very beefy, very oniony. I like it. Yeah, it's simple. It's kind of like an empanada, but that's Argentine. Yeah, it is good. Could use a little bit of creaminess, I feel like, you know, but. More gravy. Does it have gravy in it? It's That's what was said. There was a claim that gravy was in here somewhere. I don't see any gravy. Nor taste it. I like it. Round 10. You see that? Okay. That's the pie of the shepherds. That's the shepherd's pie. Right? It's got peas. And mashed potatoes. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Um, it's ground minced beef, carrots and peas with mashed potatoes on top. Okay, now we're See? talking. Better get on in there. Oh, that one looks hot. Gotta be careful or everything else is gonna taste like rubber. Oh yeah, that's hot. How are you so messy, bro? You were the first one to spill. <laughs> but after it's been all you. I've spilled twice. Three times. Okay, probably. Hot. There's that juicy moistness we've been looking for. Yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen that since the chowder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so good. I like good. shepherd's pie. That's so I'm a good. Fan. Who doesn't love shepherd's pie, man? Probably the cows. Mm. That's mm. so good. That's good. That's so good. Dude, that is so good. That might be mm. on my top for this. Spoon licking good. That's what Dude, that that's is. delicious. Round, Round 11. 11. Okay. What is this? This is a battered and fried Twinkie with a little it's, bit of powdered sugar and chocolate it's a sauce. Twinkie. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Is it? No, I guess a Twinkie's not deep fried. No. Is it just baked? Maybe. It's kind of a sponge cake. Okay, it's like a sponge cake with cream. Mm. That looks fantastic. But here's the thing. Okay, what? How often do they give us crap in America for frying everything? Touche. Right? Touché. We have almost nothing. There's a, there's been like one thing in here that wasn't fried. Now here's my question: Was this a traditional staple of UK first or America? I feel like the Twinkie was Twinkie's a product of Hostess, right? So was this an American thing that they adopted? Maybe. Okay. You gotta try before you deny. Fork oh. Ready. You're fork ready, but you use your hand. Yeah, I decided it was a bad choice. Doesn't really stab. Dude, anyone. this looks good. They'd be like, oh, Americans love their Twinkies. Well. We're eating your Twinkies. I haven't had a Twinkie in probably like 10 years. Don't take that out of context. Oh, my Lanta. I've never had a fried Twinkie. Me either. They're so good. That's pretty good. Like the cream kind of disappeared. Yeah, where's the cream? I think it, like, I think when you fry it, it probably moves into the breading. Into the breading? A little bit. That's good. That's really good. Final round. Are these donuts? They look like deep fried donuts. These are pineapple fritters. What? Oh, dang. And they have like a powdered sugar on them? Yep. Oh, 
There's a piece of pineapple in there, baby. Oh, dang, it's a, it's it's just a, a whole fried, wheel. It's just a fried piece of pineapple. A fried piece of pineapple? Dude, I know that I love my Brazilian restaurants and they always got the grilled pineapple. Mm. And it's freaking delicious. All right. So I can only assume this should be quite tasty. I hope so. Very pineapple-y. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> there is no hiding it. Oh, that's it full is, on pineapple. It is pineapple. <clears throat> In all its pineapple glory. Uh -huh. I was expecting almost like a gelatin. Like a pineapple, like, goop. It's a fritter, right? Like it's supposed to be like a fritter? That's good. I probably used pieces of it in the fritter. So what would you have? Say you went into the shop, you got to order off their menu, what would you get? What would you be your meal? I'd be getting that shepherd's pie and a fried twingy. That's it? You know, it depends. Cause I wouldn't have them at the same time. So I'd go in one day and I'd get some shepherd's pie. I'd go on a different day and I'd get some fish and chips. See, I think for me personally, I would get fish and chips with a little bowl of chowder and then finish it off with a Twinkie. And an you know, iron brew. An iron brew! That would be like a solid meal. That'd be good. I would leave that so happy. I'd be like, heck yeah, that was delicious. <clears throat> I'm energized for the day. I'm ready to go fish. I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> Freaking battered, fried everything. <laughs> is it true that they don't have any Mexican food in? in that can't be true. In ah, uh, that's what I'm really, heard. dude. I they're missing. That's out. just a shame. They're Literally like one of the best cuisines. Two two cuisines that I feel like are staples in America are Mexican and Italian. Hundred percent. Like you have to love it. <clears throat> All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed this taste test. That's this was tasty. a lot of fun, and we'll see you here next time. Deuces. How do they say goodbye in England? <laughs> Oi! You know a Brit's favorite day to eat? Mm. Tuesday. <laughs> Dude, I can't get over. You look the part, man. I, feel I like do. I'm doing a show I didn't even. From I didn't even mean to. I just. You're gonna <laughs> blow your beret. Well, <laughs> no, it was bowler hat. <laughs> <laughs>